index cards I gave you, I want you to answer A or B, okay? So, do catfish have scales? Hold up, A, you think it's yes, and B, you think it's no. Okay, the answer is B. Catfish yes. do not have scales. They're one of the only cat, one of the only fish, they don't have scales. As you can see right here, they're very smooth. Okay, here's one more question. Where does the swimming power come from? Hold up, A, you think it's their shoulders, and B, you think it's their tail. A, if you think it's their tail, and B, if you think it's their shoulders. The answer is B, their shoulders. Show me. Things you need to consider when you're catfishing is bait, time, and location. Some live baits include earthworms, minners, and batago worms. And here's one cool fact about batago worms. When after four weeks, they turn into a moth. This is liver. There's all types of kinds. Second is this gulf, and it's night crawlers, but it's rubber. And here's some spray. It's called Gulp Alive, so it's night crawlers, and those are all three of those are exotic baits we have. Some of the best times to go fishing are between 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. I say the best times any time. My name is Callie. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all the history of softball and when it was made. I chose this because me and my sister played and I wanted to learn more about it. There are nine places where you can play. There's pitcher, catcher, first base, second base, third base, shortstop, left field, center field, and right field. Did you know that softball was made on Thanksgiving Day in 1887? More than 15 million Americans play it every year. Did you know that softball was made from a football game? A, fo a football player threw a boxing glove at a yellow fan and the yellow fan swung a hockey stick and the ref said play ball. These were the names before it was called softball. Indoor baseball, kitten baseball, diamond ball, wish ball, and pumpkin ball. In 1926, Walter Hingston came up with softball. They had five names before they called it softball. Softball was started by other sports like boating and boxing. And a football game and a boxing glove were the, and were the key parts to the first softball game. There are three types of softball. There is slow pitch softball, fast pitch softball, and modified softball. My name is Blaine, and my other question is, what is the history of a TV? John Louis Bird was born August 14, 1888 in Hagenburg, Scotland, and died June 14, 1946. After having a stroke, he was a Scottish and an air inventor. He, it, he, is, he is credited for inventing the first TV by television by producing the first Live morning, gray, grayscale TV image from from reflecting light. He built his first experimental TV set using an old hat box, scissors, a darning needles, bicycle lens light, light lenses, used huge tea chests, and sealing wax. There have been several changes to the look of the TVs over the years. From, from boxes looking with antennas to smaller box, box looking TV stands to re most recently a flat screen TVs. Remotes to go with TVs weren't invented until the 1980s. The TV has... A panda would capture the hearts and attention of millions, but the dudes of Dude Perfect have done just that. Even though they're internet famous, not everyone knows the dudes behind the perfect. The rest of the group have made a point of giving back. They've aligned themselves with both Charity Water and Compassion International, as they all feel they should do something more than provide entertainment. As Cotton put it, we have this platform and we're always thinking of the best ways to use it. Charitable works are an excellent place to start.
Question one. Where did you first go to college and meet each other for the first time? I'm Kylie and my passion is gymnastics. My driving question was how can I get to know more about Simone Biles? Since I love gymnastics, I'm going to teach y'all about my favorite gymnast, Simone Biles. Simone Biles was born on March 14th in 1997 in Columbus, Ohio. Her mom struggled with drugs and alcohol, so her grandparents adopted her and her sister, Andrea. Simone Biles is a 19-year-old Olympian. She started gymnastics in the year of 2007 when she was 8 years old. She started off as a level 8 gymnast. To this very day, many people say she is the world's new best woman gymnast. She puts a lot of time and effort into her practices to have a spotless routine. She started gymnastics after she went on a field trip with her daycare to a gym. She started imitating them, and when she got home from school the next day, there was a letter from the gym saying that they would love for her to sign up for gymnastics there. She has been doing gymnastics there ever since then with her coach, Amy Borum. At the Olympics, she must have been one of the judges' favorites to win seven gold medals in one trip. No woman gymnast has done that since Nadia Comaneci in 1976. Her signature move is nicknamed the Biles. It's known as hers because she was the first to do it in a World Cup event. It's a double layout with a half twist and a blind landing. My name's Chris. I'll be teaching you all about Scotties from their history and their quirky personalities to care and training. What made me want to learn about this is my dog, Edgar. He is a Scotty and I wanted to find out more about him. Now this video will give you over 101 facts about Scotties. 5 BC, it is one of the oldest breeds in Scotland and is the standard of all terrier breeds. This will be the care and crate training of the terrier. Crate training is a great way to housebreak your Scotty. However, don't leave them in a crate all day. They are not untrainable, but they do have minds of their own and are stubborn. They don't do well with aggressive training. These will be the characteristics of a Scotty. A Scotty, Scotties are active and love and love walks, but they do need to be leashed. So they don't have a chance to run off as they also likely as they also like to hunt. Scotties are people dogs. They are loyal and protective they were bred to hunt so they be so they have become opinionated and self-directed if they befriend you it will be for life hi my name is keller and this is my game show it's all about the history of the nfl now i'll introduce you to my contestants this is racing a fifth grader from my own racing what's your favorite subject in school reading Okay, great. This is Corbin, a fifth, also a fifth grader from Wild Oak. Corbin, what's your favorite sport? Uh, football. Awesome. Okay. This is Chris, also a fifth grader from Wild Oak. Chris, what's your favorite food? Steak. <laughs> okay, great. Now, on to the first question. Grayson, who has the most rushing yards in NFL history? Emmett Smith. Correct. Great job. Now we're on to the second question. Corbin, what high school did the Green Bay Packers caught the first touchdown pass in the first Super Bowl attend? Wild Oak High School. Yes, great job, Corbin. Chris, which team has won the most Super Bowl rings? The Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. Now, for the final question, I'll give 
what I'll give you a little time to think. What is the thirteen team? Which thirteen teams have never won a Super Bowl? The correct answer is the Bills, the Bengals, the Browns, the Texans, the Jaguars, the Titans, the Chargers, the Cardinals, the Falcons, the Panthers, the Lions, the Vikings, and the Eagles. That's it for my. That's the end of my game show. This is the first time it's ever been a tie. Everyone did awesome. I'll catch you next time. Hi, my name is Kylie. My driving question is, who is Lisa Leslie? Does anyone know who she is or would like to take a guess? Okay, very much. She's been dressed the whole time. Good job. <gasps> yes! B. She is six foot five inches tall. Lisa has a husband, Michael Lockwood, a daughter, Lauren Lockwood, also a son. Would anybody like to take a guess who the son's name is? Gary. Michael. Good job. Lisa was named the 1994 National Player of the Year. In 1997, Lisa landed a contract with the WNBA. Also, in 2002, she was the WNBA all-time leading scorer and was named MVP of the WNBA Championship. Lisa was a member of gold-winning U.S. Olympic teams in 1996, 2000, 2004, and 2008. She retired from the WNBA in 2009. Lisa scored more than 6,200 points during her 12 years in the WNBA. Hi, my name is Gary, and my, my passion project is facts about BMX bikes. The name BMX means bicycle motocross. BMX bikes are known all over the world. It is also the best bike to ramp and ride on bike trails. BMX bikes are really good at dirt trails, and they are good at racing. They are really fast and, and really light. That is why they go so fast and jump so high up in the air. BMX bikes are used to race. BMX racing is a sport. There are a lot of ramps and bumps. If you win, you get a gold medal. If you get in second place, you get a silver medal. I want to show you a video. I hope you enjoy it. I became passionate about this dog because I have one of my own. That's my dog. When he was about not even one year. Um, they can weigh anywhere between 9 and 16 pounds when they're fully grown. They really go, grow to be taller than 11 inches. How long do these dogs need to be outside for each day? They need, at least, they need to be at least 30 minutes outside a day. Here are some fun facts about it. They crave human attention. This dog is a mixed breed between the shit show and the park. They don't want to be alone. They make a good family pet. Here are the living conditions. This small dog does not need to does not need a lot of space and it's quite constant sleep in a small basket. It is fine if you live in an apartment as long as your dog has exercise. Here's a cute video of the pups and dogs playing outside. <laughs> Hello, 
everyone, my name is Tony and my following question is who is Peyton Manning? Manning was born March 24, 1976 in New Orleans, Louisiana. He was the second child of Archie and Olivia. Like his dad, Peyton loved football. He set numerous records and route to winning five NFL MVP awards and two Super Bowls. Most passing yards in a season and most wins. In 1998, the Indianapolis Colts selected Manning with the first overall pick pick in the NFL draft for a franchise with a recent record of hard work and plenty of losses. Manny was quickly embraced as a, a savior. Some of the sharks are still living. The Greenland shark is still living at 341 years old. Did you know that female Greenland sharks can live at to 400 years old? Um, sharks are a group of fish. Sharks have five to seven gills. Sharks have very sharp teeth. Everybody knows that. There are lots of sharks. There are hammerhead sharks and bull sharks. Gray white sharks are the only fish that poke their head out of the water to investigate the surface. Um, membrane that covers the and protects the eye. When a shark bites its prey, sharks like the great white lacking a nictecting membrane roll their eyes back to protect their eye. Hi, my name is Riley. My driving question is, can I learn more about Yorkies? I've always wanted a Yorkie um, as a pet, and this year I finally got one. I decided now would be a good time to learn more about them since they're my favorite type of dog. Yorkshire, Yorkshire Terriers were first discovered in Yorkshire, England in the 19th century. They were first discovered, when they were first discovered, they were called Broken Hair Scotch Terriers. Their name was shortened to Yorkshire Terrier, Terriers in the 1970s. Many people called them Yorkies as a nickname. They were first bred to catch rats and clothing mills. They are one of the most popular breeds in the USA. When Yorkies have puppies, they normally only have one to four at a time. Larger dogs have between nine to 12 at a time. Yorkie, Yorkies are born several different colors. The most common color is black and tan. The, color, the coloring on them changes as they get older. Sometimes puppies are born a dark shade of blue, and this turns to black with age. Yorkshire Terriers are very in intelligent and independent pets. Hi, my name is Lainey, and my driving question is, who is Lane Frost, how did he die, and what bull killed him? So I'm guessing right now y'all are wondering who Lane Frost is. He is a legendary bull rider that died in 1989 because he got stabbed in his back right to, on the right of his spinal cord at the bottom. And so I'm gonna get on with this. When Lane Frost met the unwitting Red Rock in a seven match series in 1988, the Cowboy beat the bull four to three before that red rock had thrown 309 consecutive bull riders off of him on july 24th 1993 a permanent tribute to lane was unveiled this life-sized version of bronze by chris navarro stands in front of cheyenne frontier days days sold 
West Museum. The bronze represents the spirit of Lane and his fellow bull riders. A winner, luck to me is lots of determination, lots of hard work, faith in myself and God. And that's a special quote from Lane Frost. Hi, my name is Ramsey. My driving question is Top 10 Packs by Odo Beckham Jr. I picked Odo Beckham Jr. because um, I like the team of Giants and I like how Odell, he does the one-handed catch. Um, fact one, when he was four, four, he promised his mom he would play in the NFL. One time when he was outside playing, his mom asked him, what was he doing? Odell looked at his mom in the eye and told her he, he was practicing for Sundays because Sundays is for one football game. His mother said because of the way he said it, she had no choice but to believe him. Fact two, he played basketball, baseball, and soccer as a child before football. He was an all-around athlete and excellent at sports. <coughs> Three, he is only 5'11", which is on the low side for a wide receiver. Even though he's short, he's doing amazing things. Fact four, he even had the chance to make it to the U.S. national soccer team at age 14. He had turned it down to play football. He considers Shaq and Uncle Odell's parents aren't the only influential athletes in his life. In fact, Shaq has been a part of Beckham's life since he was a baby. Shaq and Odell's, Odell used to be roommates at LSU, the future NBA Hall of Famer, or Uncle Shaq to Odell. Hi, I'm Ava, and my driving question is, what do you need for softball and why you need it? There are three main types of pitches, fast pitch, modified pitch, and slow pitch. There are 10 to 14 players. Every team aims at scoring as many runs as possible. Softballs are larger than baseballs, and the pitchers are thrown underhand rather than overhand. The game is on a smaller than man than in baseball and deposit the game's name. The standard softball is not soft, in fact, harder than a baseball. Special of each athlete so that coach can train and encourage growth and skills. Softball was created on Thanksgiving Day in 1887. You would have to have a face mask, helmet, softball, glove, a bat, and a bag to carry all your stuff in. You would need shoes and a strap for your helmet. Hi, my name is Jonathan and my driving question is, what's the history of rugby and how is it played? 1898, but players still had to work at regular jobs. Rugby has only been played as the Olympic sport four times and is still played today. The first time was in the 1900s. And the last time was in 1924. There, there are various positions in rugby. The positions include. And my driving question is how to make edible play on can I show the class how to make it? I sometimes wonder, do you ever try to eat it? I became interested in this because I always try to eat my Play-Doh and I wonder if you, I wondered if you could eat it. So here's my presentation. Drink mixes give it color and flavor, and food coloring gives it a brighter color. You only need two cups of water, two and a half cups of flour, half a cup of salt, one tablespoon of cream or tartar, two packages of unsweetened fruit flavored drink mix, and three tablespoons of vegetable oil. 
Prep for 15 minutes, cook for five minutes, and ready in 20 minutes. Bring water to a boil and remove from heat. Whisk flour, salt, cream, or tartar, drink mix, and drink mix in a large bowl. Stirring, stir in the vegetable oil and the, in the, into the flour mixture using a spoon. My name's Molly and my passion project is the Bengal Tiger and my driving question is what is the reason people are killing Bengal Tigers? I became interested in this when I saw animals on the paper that we got with the animals, people, etc, etc. My mind went straight to the Bengal Tiger because I knew Bengal Tigers were going extinct. The reason Bengal tigers are going extinct is because of habitat loss due to human development and also because of climate change. Over the past hundred years, Bengal tiger numbers have fallen with a decreasing population. None of the Bengal tiger range is big enough to support an effective population size of 250 individuals. Did you know that people grind up their bones to make powders and medicines and use their whiskers to end the blood chain. Uh, my driving question is how to make Play-Doh. I became interested in this because I never knew how to make Play-Doh and I wanted to know. Um, one thing about Play-Doh is there are all sorts kinds of play-doh the two edible kinds that i know of is kool-aid play-doh and oatmeal and i think peanut butter play-doh and then i made kool-aid play-doh and to make it you need two cups swifted flour two tablespoons vegetable oil two tablespoons uh, tartar and then one half cup of salt and then two cups of water and then a Kool-Aid packet and then how the directions on how to make it is um, you just put it all in a you put water the water in the bowl in a pot and you put it on the um, s stove and then you put the salt in and you Stir it until the salt dissolves, and if it doesn't dissolve, it'll make it'll make. If it doesn't dissolve, and you put the Kool-Aid powder packet in it, and then you go in from there, it'll make it like real sticky and stuff, and then it won't be right. A hundred million containers of Play-Doh are sold each year. More than two billion containers of Play-Doh were sold between 1955 and 2005. Hello, my name is Ashton. My driving question is, what caused the video game crash of 1983? I became passionate about this because I've been playing video games ever since I was four. Over the years, I've developed an interest on working at a gaming company to create my own gaming software. The Video Game Crash was one of video games' most historic events. In fact, it has been thought as a worldwide event that caused humanity to switch off electronics. So here's the story. Howard Warshaw worked at the Atari company and made a game based off the movie E.T. But there was one problem. The holidays were coming and he only had five weeks to make the game. On Christmas morning, kids were excited that they found an E.T. game under their tree. But the joy turned into disappointment. The game was convoluted, inane, and dull. 4 million copies were in stores and 3.5 million were sent back. 
It was the worst video game ever. It actually sucked the entire console industry into a black hole. And according to Gamer Legend, millions of those unsold copies are in a wasteland in New Mexico. Two years later, all consoles plummeted and a wide peak of $3.2 billion revenues dropped to $100 million. In 1982, things look good for the video game industry thanks to the Atari 2600 version of Pac-Man. This was actually the most anticipated Atari game. Unfortunately, the graphics were very terrible and people were like, wow, this stinks. <laughs> Another contributing factor of the video game crash was the creation of was the creation of the Kool-Aid Man game. It's it was hard to imagine. Hi, my name is McKenzie and my driving question is, can I see some class about Boston Terrace? The reason I got interested in this is because I have two of them. And you'll be seeing them in the uh, slideshow. During the 1870s in Boston, Massachusetts, the Boston Terriers were bred or created. The Boston, the Boston Terrier is a dog that is a mixture of an English Bulldog and an English Terrier. They were originally, originally known as Roundheads, but later got renamed, renamed to Boston Terriers. And in that picture, you can see that the dog's head is brown and bigger than its body. This is a picture of an English uh, Bulldog and an English Terrier, and together they made the Boston Terrier. And Boston Terriers get their snow spaces and corkscrew tails from English Bulldogs that don't tend to get as bulky or big as them. And they get their size and colors from the English Terriers. Bad inheritance. Eye problems. Bostons have bulging eyes which cause their eyes to easily get damaged or injured um, or lose an eye. They, they can also inherit eye diseases which cause them to be blind. Sounds. Because of this, most faces, Boston Terriers snort and snore louder. Fart. All most face dogs go up air when they eat and that air needs out. And Boston Terriers are actually known for their stinky farts. Good in here, please. Bostons are very competitive and energetic. So they want to My name is Elena and my driving question was how do you groom a dog? I was inspired by this because my aunt is a traveling dog groomer. Here are some tools you might need to groom a dog. A comb, a brush, a clipper for the hair, a nail clipper, hair detangler, toothbrush, soap, towel, hair dryer, and scissors. I'm going to tell you how to groom a dog. First, you start by bathing to clean the dirt out of the hair. Then you dry the dog's hair. After that, you brush the dog's hair out until it is smooth. Use the clippers to cut the dog's hair as needed. You may need to clip the dog's nails and brush the dog's teeth. And here's something extra you can do. You may also pretty them up by using dog perfume, bandanas, bows, or nail polish.